Good evening and welcome back to the Shadows of Drakenheim. My name is Monty Martin and this is the Dungeon Dudes Weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition live stream campaign. I am joined this evening by some of my very, very good friends. I'm Kelly McLaughlin and I will be playing Wilhelm Wolfsbane, the human swashbuckler rogue. I'm Jill Denitis playing Rudy Whitaker, the shifter eldritch knight. And Joe O'Gorman playing Wrath, the Azamar Warlock. Thank you for joining us once again. If you are just tuning in for the very first time, welcome! We are the Dungeon Dudes, and Kelly and I post new videos every other Tuesday and every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons & Dragons, including advice for players and guides for Dungeon Masters. So you can check us all out there at youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. You can also join us on Tuesday nights when we record the campaign live on Twitch. You can check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube. And if you feel like listening along, uh, Dungeons of Drakenheim Season 1 and Up to Date on Shadows of Drakenheim, our current season, are both available as an audio-only podcast at Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify. We are very also pleased to announce that for all you fans of Drakenheim out there, Dungeons of Drakenheim is coming to Kickstarter this summer. You will be able to pick up your very own copy of the Drakenheim book. Uh, this is the nearly finished menu, half of the nearly finished manuscript right here in my hand, um, uh, which uh, is well underway uh we're so excited we're partnering with ghostfire games to bring this book to life we are seeing some amazing things as we are planning this whole kickstarter coming together you can sign up for our mailing list at drakenheim.com to receive some updates but i thought this evening maybe we should read something from the manuscript what do you think oh, kelly what are we reading <gasps> oh, oh. Uh, maybe some of the new magic spells something from that section sure. i don't know yeah. How about, how <laughs> about something from the, from the introduction to the, the new spells? Researching new spells in Drakenheim. Contamination immunity, contaminated power, neutralizing field, and siphon contamination are undiscovered spells at the start of a Drakenheim campaign and must be researched by the player characters themselves. The spell descriptions outline the prerequisites needed to successfully research the spell, which requires knowledge of other spells and conducting research at dangerous locations in the ruins. Once these requirements are met, a character may spend downtime and gold to complete the research as per the spell description. Thereafter, the character may prepare the spell, add it to their spellbook, or replace a spell they already know with a new spell as appropriate for the spellcasting features of their class. So that's some new stuff that is coming in the in the book. Researching spells totally undiscovered by the original Dragon Force either. <laughs> You know yeah. how many people are going to be playing this back uh, over and over, writing down every bit of info that you just gave out? That, that, technically, uh, that technically was like um, a teaser for like four, four or five of our new spells as well, because they were named in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can indeed. guess what a lot of them do by the name. <laughs> <laughs> I remember siphon. I I I, I, I overheard uh, siphon. Siphon contamination. All I'm going to say it's it's a dirty spell. It can save it's, a life, but it can ruin a life too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not it's not a good it's it's a it's it's a last resort spell. <laughs> but like, I imagine someone with like a garden hose performing the procedure. <laughs> like it's when you said dirty, I was like, that's that's in my head. It's <laughs> you'll see when you when you read it. It's, I'm excited. Uh, so excited yeah so yeah the 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 book is going to be featuring a bunch of new monsters uh all new bespoke stat blocks for some of the big creatures from the original drakenheim campaign um we've got a bunch of spells planned um as well lots of uh, and a ton of new magic items uh in addition to the amazing core of the book which features over 20 fully detailed adventure sites in drakenheim and all the details on the faction so that's going to be coming up very very soon we're super excited stay tuned here i think uh for the next couple 
weeks, we'll keep. Uh, maybe we will make this our opening tradition. Do a little bit of a oh. read through from the uh, from a cool preview from the book. So, if you have any requests <laughs> of something that you'd like us to read an excerpt from, post them in the comments or in chat, and maybe next time we will see who uh, who we will uh, ta- uh, read a preview from. But with that, shall we return to the shadows? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Drakenheim is no more. For 15 years, we foolishly believed the madness and mayhem of that crumbling city was confined to the ruins. We were wrong. Insidious horrors have crept out of the shadow of Drakenheim into a world unprepared for such nightmares. Tales of strange magic, swirling haze, and unspeakable terrors echo through the villages and towns surrounding that first place. Now, the Dusk Wardens, a new band of heroes, are tasked with driving out the seeping tendrils of the spreading darkness before it takes root. No. Welcome back to the Shadows of Drakenheim. When last we left our heroes, they were exploring the mysterious elven lighthouse off the coast of Ash Bay. Having uh, encountered several sessions ago the fish folk and their other nefarious minions who were battling at the top of the, t- the tower they worked their way down facing various elven ghosts and floating skulls and encountering a strange library of mysteriously erased books furthering on their explorations and passing by several strange statues of forgotten elven gods and strange doorways of prismatic light they happened upon a strange old elven man this thin and waif-like man is a far cry from the man who you saw depicted in several of the elven tablets where once was a proud standing elven man probably in his prime is now a bent and crooked geezer to <laughs> uh, instead, he still has this this long hair that this extends past his shoulders. But what what was once lush and proud, it's now thinning and pure white. Um, his face has become sallow and wrinkled, and there's uh, you know wisps of beard growing out da- down around him, um, and his uh, ears are withered as well. His skin is is cracked. And he wears these these simple gray robes um, as he um, he just wears these simple gray gray robes as he leads you up into the tower to explore further. Um, he's offered you some food from the the table. Uh, he speaks in a very sort of raspy voice, um, almost as if it's if, if he's just forcing uh, up a whisper. Um, he doesn't seem to re- really know who he is though um he has a vague idea that his name was Valtar Bane Moon but that seemed to be as much of a surprise to him as uh uh when you mention that name that we're calling it like a name I haven't heard that name in a long long while oh it's me <laughs> uh so are we still eating food with him I'm finishing mm-hmm. yeah I, I think I had a steak I was yeah, thinking. yeah. the 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 table conjures up uh, uh, almost anything for you for you to eat. It it tastes good, but there's a there's something missing. As if it wasn't it it tastes good, but it tastes fake. Mm. Mm. I pressed it to just say the, the the taste to be better. <laughs> Yeah, and and interestingly enough, it's you still notice it as as if the flavor itself was already being created with prestidigitation. Oh. Uh, where where did this food come from? Uh, it's conjured, I think. By who? Well. 
It comes from the same place all magic comes from. Right. Does it seem like he's eating? Yeah, yeah, he's eating. I mean, it he- tastes magical. Literally. Mm. <laughs> would would you say, like, like, like are we saying, uh, if you're saying that yours tastes magically delicious, mine tastes a little um, hollow, I would say. If you've, well, if you've ever had a meal prepared with love, they say you can taste the love in it. And if you've ever had a meal prepared with magic, it stands to reason you could taste the magic in it. But, hmm, the taste of magic is not always a bright taste. Just as there is such a thing as a light that is too bright. Uh, why have you brought us here? Well, because I live here, and it seemed the right thing to do when a guest arrives at your doorstep. I haven't had a visitor... ever. (laughs) I don't really know, is this the right thing that you're supposed to do when you have a visitor? By all accounts, yes, your manners are impeccable. Oh, good. Good. I haven't seen other people. I remember... I know that I must have known other people, but I can't remember what their faces look like. Hmm. Well, rule number 28, manners maketh the man, so you're good in my books, Mr. Elf. Hmm. Um, but can you tell me again, what, what, what do you remember of... Do you have a job here? Do you, do you just eat food and wander around all day? What? Uh, tell me a bit about yourself. These messages, yes. I... I remember that I'm supposed to wait here. And I remember that I'm not supposed to leave. I didn't remember my name until you mentioned it. And I remember all my spells. Though... You remember your magic and not your name. Yes, I could. I feel like I could tell you anything about magic, but I couldn't even tell you what. If I had parents or brother or siblings or lover, I know what these things are, but the sense that I had those is gone. Hmm. Uh, Raph, is there some sort of examination, a magical examination that you might be able to give him? Perhaps uh, he is under a spell, the byproduct of a spell. Perhaps, perhaps there's more to him than meets the eye. Perhaps there, with being in such a magical place, it might stand to reason that magic has interfered with his mind or his person in some way um, I assume you have the means to to analyze these sort of things being a, a mage yourself mm. with his I, permission I, I would welcome your attempt I've tried myself though you know it, it seems that the ticket may be these messages is this you is this like, if I play these uh, tablets back uh, for him, can we? Is Do it? We have the tablets? Is it a? Tr- oh yeah, we don't have the tablets. You, le- you left them with River, yeah. Man, River. Okay, Raph. Do you happen to remember them? Can you can you recite the message? I think that's not unreasonable to say that you could recite details of the, the message, but I think that you would need to ask specifics. Like, you might need to frame a specific question for me uh, of, like, does this mean anything to you? Okay, okay. Um, using the actor feat, I can mimic the speech if I've heard another character for at least a minute. Can I, <laughs> like, uncannily mimic his voice back to him? To determine yes. if the tablet is him. 
this yes. some messages in a series of yeah and 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 you know what you could make your you could use your disguised self to emulate his the appearance that you saw as well and and it it kind of sends him into a bit of a shock <laughs> uh for for a moment he says that's he 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 kind of shakes himself and and for for a moment and says I know that's me but I don't remember that me I remember losing that me he thinks very carefully for a moment and says I remember coming here and then I remember forgetting. You were you remember forgetting. Yes. I remember there were more here, more of us. And once we forgot, we all decided that I would stay for some reason that was there was no discussion about it there was no debate about it it had to be I who stayed here and the others left and I saw them once twice I don't know how long passed between then they stopped coming and then I never saw them again do I don't know how long ago that was. Do you remember Respectfully. Who these were? There was more of the tower then. I could move around then. He says the, the arches below, they were filled with color. I couldn't pass them. I was trapped inside here. But that great chamber where we, you were, I remember standing in that pool of water, surrounded by hundreds of others, perhaps. We all stood around in a daze, like we didn't know what had happened to ourselves. And the others left the tower, and I remained behind. We, before we f discovered that you were here, we found a library, a place of books, although they were all blanked. And I'm going to show him one of the books um, from the library. We, do you have other things like this? Do you have other sources of information, something written down that might have given you your first instructions. What's the oldest thing in this place that you remember? He a looks token, at the book and anything. he says, this was the, it was the price. It was the price we paid. The debt came due and we had to pay it. Price for what? What were you paying for for doing? It was the price. It was the price of passage. Hmm. It was the price that we paid to come here. Oh, I, I hope it was worth it. I think it bought our lives. I can't, I can't imagine though what kind of life you've been living here all these years, not remembering, not knowing. What kind of life has this been for you? Tell me, are there others of my people? Have you met them? Oh, uh, we elves. We've met a few. A few. Well, then. Maybe it was worth it. 
were alive. I, I mean, is this news to you that elves live amongst our world? They've lived here for thousands of years. Uh, they're they're not uncommon. It's, uh, I mean, they're a little less common than than you know Rudy or I or. I mean, wrath is a little uncommon too. And actually, Rudy, you, <laughs> I, you have some things. So oh I mean, you, 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 you must forgive me. Is a thousand years a long time? Um, you know that that for an elf, maybe not. Uh, for a human, yes, yes. Yeah. It's about eleven oh. or twelve generations of my family. Of, of course, it's a long time. Then I could see why that might be strange uh, the a single rotation around a star in the scheme of the cosmos and of the fields of magic is nothing a thousand Pfft. nothing it's nothing well, how long is a lot for you well, it's a thousands a lot for me, but I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about everything else. Uh, Wilhelm puts more steak in his mouth, and and it, I, I just have to ask: uh, Are you aware that there are fish people living upstairs or downstairs? I don't really know what floor I'm on, but are you aware that you are sharing this home with um, large fish people who tried to murder us on our way in? He 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 gestures to the other um, across across the room, and he says. Pointing to a sphere of glass, it gives me a sense when someone comes near. I knew that people had come near, but people have come near here for many times and not come in. I wondered if maybe they were coming for me, but you were the ones that arrived here first. Are they friendly? I would love to meet them. N no, no. Uh, well, are you sure? Are they an enemy of yours? They are an enemy of ours, and... Well, then perhaps I should meet them and determine which of the two of you is right. Perhaps they are your enemy for a good reason, and perhaps I should not trust you. You know, I can't even argue with that logic. That's very know? old and fair logic. Well, here's Although like they, they are cannibalistic and violent in nature they usually attack um on site so if you do go to communicate with them i i would uh recommend a sort of um distant uh starting place oh before they're, getting close they're, they're violent yes and if i could ease your mind it might help you to know and again i don't expect you to trust me you can find your truth on your own but all paths eventually lead to the truth, and our truth is that we are here because the three of us have been tasked with discovering what happened to the elves, because what happened to the elves and your home world, wherever it is that you came from, um, seems to be a reoccurring theme. We've found several elven ruins that are curious to us and allude to things far beyond our comprehension. Now, we're trying to figure out what your message is, but along the way, we have ran into monsters, I want to say, that have tried to turn us into something we're not. They've tried to turn us violent and evil and, and grow an empire of of, of vile things beneath the surface of the water and all of that led us to this island and to you so we are here on the best interests of the information that you seem to have forgotten but that seems of utmost importance the fish folk are what a, stands in the way between us and our discoveries 
So that is our story. And that is Mm. why we are here. Whatever that means to you, I'll let you decide. Rudy, Wrath, do you have anything to add? Um, do, do my custom axes have delirium in it? Yes, they do. Um, I take out one of my axes and say, another thing that also helps us on our journey is, and I tap the delirium and I say, have you seen this before? He looks at it. And he holds it. He says, may, may I? I hand it over to him. Why, yes, this is... Did you make this? I had it made for me, but... That... Crystal, that... What we call delirium... It's what these fish folk... Are trying to get to empower themselves and and change folks around here and we're trying to stop them from doing that Rudy, from polluting do, you the any, lives. do you have any uh, raw delirium not on me do we have any gave it all <laughs> gave it all i sold it you call this you call this stone you call it delirium delirium There's another word that I knew it by, but it it eludes me. Hmm. I know how to make it, though. You know how to make delirium. To make it? Uh, Yeah, yes. It's you can induce it with the. It's it's very difficult, but it's. It, it's just a really uh, an, an emergent property of all magic. Do you, do you know the law of of arcane attraction? Rap. I don't know your version of it, <laughs> but so I'm very intrigued. It, well, it's 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 quite simple, re- really. Magic attracts more magic. So you, it's like gravity. If you have it enough magic in one place, more magic comes in. And if you assemble enough magic in one place, it crystallizes. So delirium is crystallized magic and the elves had means of creating it. I would say not that we had means of creating it so much as that it's not really a mess a question of a person but a place creating it natural occurrence magic is just a part of nature is any other force of nature is water of atoms of molecules it's just an extension of the same th- energy so then by creating it are you talking about uh, cultivating uh, farming it uh, growing it uh, it's not easy i couldn't just do it you would need to manifest even the smallest amount of it you would need and uh, hundreds, maybe maybe thousands of spellcasters, all in one place together, casting magic together. Even then, it might not even do it. But but once you have a bit of it, well, then you've bootstrapped the whole process. And what if we had a lot of it? That might be a problem. You don't say. <laughs> I think uh, you may have missed some of the news floating around these lands in the past. Um... It's technically current events in his timeline. Um, <laughs> it was only about 15 years ago. It was actually quite recent um, in the lapse of suns and moons and stars. Rath, Rudy, do we feel that 
Uh, no offense to speak openly in front of you, but same question that you brought up earlier. Do we feel like we can trust you? We've just met you, and we've met you at a place that seems to be involved in the delirium problems that we are currently facing. And now... You are having a problem with oh, this stone. My friend... We are having a world of problems, so to speak. Uh, can you explain? Well, you said that if if you have a small sliver, you can allow you can grow grow it, cause it to spread. You can create more. Yes. I I mean I I, I mean you would need enough to fill an entire city to do that. It would be an unfathomable amount. It would ins an absolutely insane quantity. So, a meteor from space crashed into <laughs> one of our cities, and it was made of delirium. Oh, gods. Very big. Very big. The city... Nobody goes there anymore. I, I've heard some people go there, but I assume they mostly die. Uh, it's it's kind of a, um, a a shadow, so to speak, of its former self. There is also chunks the size of wagons and buildings that have been scattered across the land, including nearby. There, this has what has caused this fish folk to be created. These are not fish folk. These are not creatures born of themselves. They are mutated from other things. And they seek to mutate further. And to mutate everybody, it seems. It's not... It's not... I... What, what, you're, what you're saying... What you're saying is no, uh, no, that no, that's the, not no, no, that's not what no. You must be you are you are that is absolutely outrageous, and I I refuse to believe what you are telling me. That is no. Sir Bane Moon. I had to cut down my neighbors because this crystal caused them to mutate and their brains to jump out of their skulls at us. Please check yourself. You have the means to see what you need to see. And the you can look at, you can seek Drakenheim and see it in its true form. Based on the look on your face, I hope it brings you some comfort to know that the three of us are on the case and hoping to put a stop to this. If what you are saying is true, do you, do you, do you have wizards? Do you have mages? Do they know this? Wrath is it, right here. Point to Wrath. <laughs> I'm leading the charge. And we are in um, association with uh, some other spellcasters who seem to know a little bit more about this, this crystal, this delirium. Uh, so they are the ones who asked us to go help out. And to here we are. To investigate where where it may be, where it may come from, and to help with these, <sighs> these odd and horrific occurrences happening around the country I feel I feel like I feel like there is something that I need to tell you but when my mind tries to pull the words it is like the words do not exist in my brain Wrath, can you fix that? If it, um, with his permission, I can attempt the identify spell in hopes that it might reveal if there's any sort of magical cause to mm -hmm. it. But if it's just forgetfulness because <laughs> yeah. it's really yeah. old, it might be all we can do. Yeah. So if um, he, if he'll allow me. I'll uh, attempt the identify spell as a ritual. C 
casting the identify spell on him and, and examining him, um, the best that you can ascertain is that his mind has been subjected to an overwhelmingly powerful version of the modify memory spell. One which mortal magic probably is it's probably beyond mortal magic to unravel. Um as if there is something more fundamental that has sealed it. Perhaps with the most powerful forms of mortal magic, it might be possible to recover snippets of memory. But wholly restoring this person's memory has been done almost on a... It's less that his brain has been modified, but that the piece of his soul that had these memories was cut off and just given away like it was uh, like just got like detached gone like a like a like cutting the fat cap off a good slice of meat just gone out not coming like and getting it back is not going to be you might be able to get pieces of it back. It it it, it seems that it there's so, there, there's like this hate this border around it, but deep rents have been pulled out. Do you have a journal? You keep a journal. Maybe wrote down anything. I hadn't seen any purpose in writing anything while I was here. Well, the o- the other thing. Wilhelm, Wrath, what if we can get her back to River and to I the was... tablets? Maybe that will serve as his journal and he might recognize mm. potentially some of the words that he said on it. From, from, the the, from Wrath's use of the Identify spell, the, the damage that has been done to this man's mind is beyond the pale of like... Like... Mm-hmm. Li- like it, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not the type of thing like that is that he, there, certain things might be jogged of his memory but um it would require like almost like the whatever physical object like per, whatever physical part like that that memory has been made physical or metaf- metaphysical and taken away mm. and you know just just in the same way that like you know you can take a person back to the um to the the plate where they ate their dinner but you can't get the dinner back now that it's been eaten mm-hmm. and right like yeah. it's i, I still it think seems... there there is value in getting getting him out of here he's been waiting for mm. forever but there are elves in the academy there are his people he might not even realize like he might have just been waiting here forgotten mm-hmm. he also may be a guardian or a protector well my and concern. yeah this pool is me has made some noise since we have arrived mm-hmm. and his job might go beyond being a a a, a person who stays here i don't know what that formal term is i have three concerns to bring up <laughs> concern number one with that pool making noise and this um this elf elven man's forgetfulness um if his job was important and he has forgotten what his job is that could be dangerous perhaps he's supposed to do something to stop something Number two, is he who he says he is? If there is something that has modified his memory, hmm. what what was modified? What happened? And who or what modified it? I mean, you can, if you want to try sizing him up, him, him up Wilhelm, give me an insight check. 
I have a feeling that whatever has modified his memory was not to hide some purpose, but to take it away. And it could have been for reasons that go beyond covering tracks, but maybe merely to punish. Mm -hmm. I got a 14 on my insight. The... The anguish in this person's face when he tries to recall the memory, he would have to be a supernaturally good actor to pull that off. Like, this is pain. I'm wondering Uh, if he is a guardian of something here. I mean, he doesn't look like he's going to last very much longer. So maybe we need to get another guardian here and maybe have him live the rest of his life with Without having to be alone. He's right here, Fruity. He's right in front of us. My third concern is that this place is still crawling with fish people and we're having dinner with an old elf uh, talking about uh, seemingly stories that go nowhere and cause more questions than answers. So I don't exactly know where we stand, but... I feel like perhaps getting him out of here might be beneficial. At, in the worst case scenario, we get him to other people that might be able to help him further or, you know, have him enjoy the remainder of his life. Uh, best case scenario, we find something out. Although, hmm. again, the concern is if we take him away from here and there was a job that needed to be done in this building that that, that protects people, I don't know what that pool does. Um, I I'm gonna say that for the record that because you guys ate, uh, you, I, I do. You guys want to count that as a short rest? <laughs> Please. Yeah, and sure. I, although, if we do do a short rest, I wanna uh, commune with Bruce and bring Bruce back. Yeah, can we yeah. extend yeah. that short rest a little bit, my friends? Yep. And uh, yeah, no, it's it, given given the conversation that you've had and the fact that you ate food, it's totally reasonable. Right. We may also call upon the great Bruce. I felt his presence earlier um, near me. He may provide insight into hmm. this man's time and purpose. Yes, your cat will solve everything, Wrath. Thank you. But I will your have you all roll me a d6. Well. <laughs> Three. 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 Three, three, All three. threes? <laughs> okay. And there's three of us, and there's three dice, mm. and there's... Never. And three concerns. <laughs> there's three he... concerns the first. Maybe it says, we may leave now. If I, I, I do not know if I meant to stay here anymore. I thought I was waiting for someone. I would go with you, but we should perhaps make sure the rest is, of this place is secure. I agree. Uh, Perhaps it's best that you stay here where you've been safe this whole time. And we will come back for you. I... I, Right, guys? We're gonna... We may even send envoys on our behalf. Maybe there is a... Would you be able to confidently remember a series of words, like a passphrase, to convey a message? Yes. We yes. could we could come up with some sort of clue for our, either ourselves or those on uh, our behalf to return and and show that we are friendly, so yep. that you may once yeah, help we, us with the fight against delirium. Yeah, that's suitable. Um. Can we see your stuff? We we <laughs> found that they may offer us more insight. Even the simplest or more basic items of your life, your day-to-day waiting here, may provide clues as to what your purpose is, if you would have hmm. us. We are fine investigators, including my one-eyed friend here. Hello. He says, certainly... Um I I don't have much. I just have what I've lived with here. I my my life I I don't even 
I don't even have my spell book. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm going to approach the glass orb that he pointed to earlier, that he said warns him of people coming, um, and examine it. As you go to look at it, um, the it uh, it there there's like a swirling image inside it. And you sense that if you focus your attention upon it, you might be able to see anywhere else in the tower. I'm going to focus on the... I'm going to think as hard as I can about the room with the wyvern in it. Okay. Thinking of the room of the, of the wyvern, you see the wyvern uh, there devouring some more fish folk happily chained up again. Hmm. But there are no other, other of the of the the deep ones around. Um, I'm going to kind of mentally try to follow our path and just check all the rooms we went in to see if anybody's following us or if there's anybody coming after us. As you look down the pathway, first of all, it's all clear. First of all, for the first bit. And as you go past the statues and round the corner to the doorway that you went up to get here, that is when you see there are the large marrow in the portal chamber with a sallow, pale-skinned man whose body is erupting in tentacles and Piscine mutations. He is wearing a cloak, and he is placing his hands in the water, and there is arcane energy crackling around, and you can hear him beginning to encant a spell. Uh, friends, we have to go. Uh, there is a, 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 an emergency in the pool room. Uh, no running on the deck. Run! Get there. Uh, we might be in for an intense moment. It looks like something is going down in the pool room. There is a... the, the It's going to be bad. I don't see anything good coming from this. Um, the... Uh, yeah, you can see that there are at least... As the vision dies down, you can see that there are at least four of those larger marrow, the fish folk with, with the, the kind of the tentacled faces and the blue scales and that carried the tridents and the weapons. And they are here with this much smaller man who has been twisted in this in similar ways, but has a much more humanoid form to him. And they are now in the portal chamber. Uh, we have we have. There, so there's four big guys and the one little guy. Yes. Um. When you say they're big, like, like, <laughs> they're large sized creatures. Okay. Um, that's pretty big. <laughs> uh, uh, Ru Rudy, can you, can you take them? Or is this a bad idea? Uh, is there another way out of here? Uh, oh, we have to, we have to stop the cardinal. The, the, the man, the, the, uh, Valtar says, what did you see? Is there someone else? There are fish monsters in the pool room. He he looks and he says, That creature is trying to seize control of the gate. That's We need bad. to stop it. Voltar, we need your help. You said you still remember your magic. I remember my magic. Um, the creatures that had joined you when we first met you. I remember my magic. I haven't had my spell book in thousands of years. <laughs> I don't have a spell prepared to my name. <laughs> well, sounds like berries to me. We gotta go. If this creature is interacting with this pool, it could cause irreparable damage to this world how do we play this i 
I think I would be best suited to try to uh, get the drop on them if I can, but I uh, assume that that also means that if the three of us are going in, Rudy, you like swinging axes. Wrath, do you have a diversion or... Uh, I'm some- going to cast third level uh, invisibility from my ring of spell storing on Rudy and Wilhelm. Awesome. Go. Well, okay, I'll I'll open up the situation for you guys. So let's just because <laughs> you get you guys are able to see this because um, you can spy on them basically. So this is the situation that you see here. So right up over here is the chamber that leads back up to where Valtar uh, Valtar's chambers are. There's the door here, and then there's the archways that ha- had the prismatic bulbs up them that are closed, and then. This is the chamber that you see where the uh, the cardinal is in the midst of the room incanting some sort of magic now. Okay. I you have... too. Okay, you go. I was going to say, if I go in first, invisibly, and sneak around the outside to the back of the pool... Also, I think, Jill, did we lose your sound? You're good? Sorry. <laughs> She's focused. She's, she's super focused. <laughs> I'm accidentally oh, you tapped, my you, mic. you tapped the top of your mic. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> um, if, if I can sneak in there, and then once I fire a shot, they're going to see me. But that means that the two of you are now behind them. Um, I vote I'm... you both go in and try to get your shot when you can, I will try to distract them from the entrance. I think that's a good idea. There's two near the entrance. Wrath, if you can somehow wrangle those two big big boys together, uh, I'll start to do my best to axe one of the ones, maybe the one to the, the north, and then Wilhelm, I have to say you sneak and get that cardinal to stop doing whatever magic he's doing. I will try to disrupt the cardinal's procedures if you can move in there now wilhelm we will be right behind you rudy going for to catch one of the uh, larger creatures and i will try to stall him and distract him to give us more time all right sounds like berries to me are we ready hands in the middle All what? right. What? Go Dusk Wardens. <laughs> go Dusk Wardens. It's the first time we tried this. I just, I just didn't know where to go with it. My hand um, was on top of you guys pushing because I'm like, what are we doing? I don't know what. <laughs> good job, everybody. It's a new thing. We're going. Rudy to- volunteered for Meat Shield. She put her hand up first. I volunteer. <laughs> to get so, in there. So I guess I, uh, we're, we're going to go uh, to confront this terrifying group of monsters because that sounds smart. Got to stop him doing what we, this is what beyond, we invited him in to do. Us. This is the gateway between worlds. If this creature does what Voltar was even hinting at saying it does and it accomplishes, Delirium will be the least of our concerns. I load some ammunition into my crossbow and click it ready to go and turn to you and say, I miss ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to stealth um, basically along the wall, uh, like basically like down this way here yeah. All right. until I get to the other Sneaking. side of the pool. So the, unfortunately, as you kind of creak through the door, the sentries, the marrow, they're not watching what the cardinal is doing. They're watching the door. <laughs> I'm invisible. You are invisible. Okay. You are invisible, and who else is invisible? Rudy. Uh, Rudy. Okay. Um, so, a- as you come out the door, a- the two of you come out the door, you can both give me a stealth check. Twenty-five. Twenty-two. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, you-, you sneak out, and here's what you see. The water of the pool is beginning to cascade and circle around the cardinal and he is rising slightly up upon upon the tide the the man is 
whipcord thin and muscled, um, wearing tattered sea green cloaks um, and a, this long face and catfish like whiskers compose his beard and his hair um, and fins are starting to burst out of his back and along his arms as well. Um, as he um, he is bare chested um, and is covered in a mantle of seaweed and he is produced in front of him a large delirium crystal which is floating in midair in the center of of the the pool and energy is coming around it as he's holding on to it um and his body is like shuddering and convulsing as he as he hold, holds on and he is speaking out um and calling out with this booming voice as you come in into the room um that is this awful gurgling language uh of but as he does so you catch a glimmer in the air around him of the duchess the awful form you beheld in the cove as if the that creature is acting this it's, it's almost a spectral form of it as if that creature is the one acting through this vessel hmm. um, you two can move into the position you can move your speed and then we will roll for initiative. If if I take an I guess an action right now, does it already get rid of the invisibility? What would be the action? Uh, I just wanted to take the potion that gives me haste. Uh, you can drink the potion. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I dash? Uh, you guys can each move your speed okay. to reflect going, and then I'd like you to go your your roll for initiative. My speed is doubled now. Great. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I can actually get to the, the guy that I want. Uh, anyways. Well, uh, I did well on initiative. What do we got, everyone? Oh. Uh, I got a 28. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I got an 18. Okay. I got a 7. My initiative and Rudy's initiative doesn't equal Wilhelm's. I rolled a 20. <laughs> okay. I, and I have a plus 8. It's wild. Alrighty. I will say that Wilhelm and Rudy, the two of you can act in the surprise round, but Wrath, uh, if you would like to act in the surprise round, you will need to make a stealth check. And if your stealth check fails, you will rule, ruin surprise for everybody. <laughs> so it, it sort of like in my mind, I imagine myself sort of just walking in ever so casually into this room, not in a aggressive way while Wilhelm and Rudy got into position. But at this point, if it makes more sense, like if it seems like things are going to go south real quick, I'd probably just wait until I heard something happen and then there I'll run is, it. There is no way to enter this chamber without triggering hostility if you are visible. So I'm just going to, I'm likely just waiting then. Okay. Because of like, I, I feel like I was behind. I was too busy casting the spell. So I'm like not even really in it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wilhelm, over to you. Uh, I'm going to bonus action dash over to here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to line up my shot on the cardinal, and I'm going to get things started, I guess. All right. Uh, so I, I get into position. I kind of uh, perch behind this bench here, um, and I'm going to line up my crossbow. And uh, do I get advantage because of the... Uh, yes, because you're invisible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to take a shot at him with my, uh, with my crossbow. Okay. Twenty-eight. 
24 to hit. 24. As the crossbow bolt sails towards him, it reverberates off an invisible field of force surrounding him. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and now I'm visible, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> Oh. How how far away is it? Is it like directly around him, like almost like hugging him? Is it? Um, see that there. See how there is a circle in the mi- in the ver- the middle most circle in the the runes. That's about where it it reverberated off. Uh, as my crossbow bolt bounces off and I become <laughs> visible, I look at everybody in the room and I say, "Hello there." <laughs> hmm. That's my as turn. you as you look. You can see burning in the eyes of the four marrow is an arcane light that was not visible in them before. It's almost like there's perhaps as they themselves are sustaining some of this magic as well. All right, new plan, I say to nobody. Uh, kill the bodyguards, and I'm going to draw my sword, and I'm ready. All righty. Rudy, it is your turn. And as you say this, <laughs> Rudy just starts <laughs> jumping on this one guy and, and hacking at him. Um, before she hacks away, um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark using my one use uh, without a spell slot. Okay. And the guy in front of me is my target. Um, so that's my bonus action. And then I'm going to... Whoop! Uh, 27 to hit. That is a hit. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, 19 damage. I rolled full damage on that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, Ow. and then I take a second shot with help from Houdini. Okay. Oh, crit! Ah! Yeah! The other one was a two, so I'm really glad <laughs> we took that one. Uh. Okay. Um, so... Ooh. 29 damage? You cut him down. And as you <laughs> see the life burst out of him there's a a spark of the arcane magic burst out out of its mind and for a moment the field of force around the cardinal becomes briefly visible before the other guardians kind of the other marrow like muscle in and the 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 field stays up i say you're right wilhelm kill the big muscle and and you'll have at him um and was the movement from before part of my turn, or or was that pre? Uh, if you were not in the position that you were in at the start of this turn, that was movement. Uh, okay. So, like, moving essentially to where I am right now was pre-battle, yeah. correct? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then I move towards this guy, uh, and I'm going to action surge. <laughs> Rudy train. By the way, Wilhelm, your opening shot was amazing. If it wasn't for invisible uh, shield, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> would have been <laughs> great. Go oh, okay. Um, so here we go. I rolled another crit. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you cheater! You no. cheater! With cheaty dice. <laughs> I'm not even using the blue ones this time. <laughs> Uh, amazing amazing just oh my gosh okay um 30 30 damage okay feels so much more confident jill literally texted us today saying i wanted to kill fish folk and uh i think she's coming through on her uh cool 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 cool. there's a lot of conviction there wow (laughs) My second shot on on that. Oh, well, that makes up for it. Uh, that's 11 to hit. That's a miss. And then I guess my haste spell gives me an extra action per Give, 
Yes, but you, you can only make one weapon attack with it, not two. That's okay. Uh, uh, 19 to hit? That is a hit. Um, Nine damage. Okay. He is bloodied, but very much still alive. And actually, sorry, minus four from that damage. So add four to him because I didn't move my hunter's mark yet. So that, that D6 doesn't okay. count from the last. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Sounds good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So everyone else, that was the surprise round. But fortunately, uh, uh, so Wilhelm, you get to act, but then we got something special happening after your turn. Oh, love that. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a fun treat for everybody. Um Wilhelm is now going to aim, seeing, seeing the shimmering field that deflected his bolt, he aims at the same one that Rudy is fighting so that they can double down on getting through them. Um, and he's, because he's, no, I'm going to fire just normally. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fire at it. Okay, who are you going to go for? Uh, I'm going for the same one Rudy's fighting. All right, go for it. Uh, I get a 27. It is a hit. Yeah. Also, uh, I rolled, because I killed a guy, I rolled 11 temporary hit points, just so you know. And also, since, nice. nice. And since Rudy's there, I'm going to use sneak attack. Yeah, end it. Oh, that's nice. Twenty-four damage. Cool. Uh, I'm going to ignore the fact that your vector shot would pass through the the vector of your shot would pass through the barrier. Oh, I, so I drop down and I shoot. <laughs> yeah. Like, like that, that does end him. <laughs> um, and then then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run behind this pillar. And can I can I like run and use my uh, cunning action to hide? Uh, not there. <laughs> No? No. Do I need... Uh, yeah, because they they have direct line of sight of you, dude. They know you're there. <laughs> uh, is there anywhere to hide? Like, do I, I have to break line of sight to hide, right? Yeah, but I the, there's, there's not... Like, this guy here is gonna... Like, both of them, with, with where they are, that, like, all those areas, like, this this guy will see you, like, he can see you there. Like, I can oh. draw a direct line from his base to there. Yeah. Well, then I run over here. Yeah. Okay. And then can I hide? No, because this guy can see you. <laughs> I mean, I guess. All right. Yeah. Um, then I wish uh, I... I give me... Action. Okay, give me... Give me a... S Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't buy it. I, I don't believe it. Yeah, sorry, dude. Okay. Um, then I'm cover. just gonna run over there, and then I guess use my. Come bonus. into my room. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. gonna <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action to shoot at the next guy. Then. All right. Sounds good. All right. Nice. Uh, that's a one. Sorry, bud. <laughs> All right. So it's the shimmering field this time. It, it like, oh yeah, the the, uh, the, the darn field. <laughs> that dang shield. Alrighty. The volatile magical forces being called upon by the Cardinal trigger an arcane anomaly. Who would like to roll it? I will. I will. Rudy, I roll. roll. Alright, Rudy, roll a d20. We're gonna use the blue one. Two. That seems promising. Alrighty. Uh, so... Oh, you're all equidistant. All right, Rudy, Wilhelm, uh, and both my marrows, we're all going to roll a d20, and whoever gets the lowest gets hit by hideous laughter. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on. Wilhelm, what do you got? I got a five. Rudy? Three. <laughs> Rudy! No! You are affected as if by the hideous laughter spell. Make a wisdom saving throw, DC. Uh... uh uh, wisdom saving throw. Two? <laughs> okay. Rudy. It's all my luck. 
You collapse to the ground, but instead of laughing, you repeat unfathomable combinations of syllables and words, and occasionally a somewhat comprehensible but totally illogical a phrase emerges, such as the phrase, oh, time thy pyramids. So you are on the ground, <laughs> writhing, babbling in co- coherent in, uh, speech. <laughs> So that's like when I talk to my baby. It's just a regular occurrence. You're just repeating all of the names of your children over and over again. Oh, yeah. But backwards. They're all backwards. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> Wilhelm, it is your turn. Uh, again? Uh, yeah, because that was the... Oh, sorry. No, actually. Whoops. Uh, actually, no, it's the Cardinal's turn. Sorry. Uh, so the Cardinal, um, he... Uh, he is in the middle of the uh, the the field itself, um, and he is going to, um, as, as he focuses on on the power uh, around him, he cries out uh, with a thunderous voice that resounds and shakes, incanting the the words. And um, I need you all to make a charisma saving throw. Oh boy! Oh boy! Ooh. Fifth, wait. Four. Fourteen. Twenty-five. Uh, everyone except for Wrath fails, and you are frightened of the uh, uh, for one minute. So I'm babbling and frightened. <laughs> uh, yes, and and also Rudy, because you're babbling, uh, you're um, I'll just have to check. You you are incapacitated by it, so your hunter's mark is gone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. With that, we come to Rudy. Uh, Rudy, you can make a saving throw to try to get out of this effect. Which one? <laughs> both. Um, both, actually. You can make. Um, yeah, you can make a. Um, if, now you can. You are prone and incapacitated, but you can still crawl if you want to. If you want to move from where you where you are, and then at the end of your turn, you can make a wisdom saving throw. Um, to break out of the effect of the hideous laughter and then a chari- and then another charisma saving throw to break out of the fear but because you are frightened of the cardinal you cannot move closer to the cardinal okay i will stay where i am uh and just try to do save so wisdom first yep seven you are still babbling incoherently do you want to babble an incoherent phrase for us <laughs> that. Hey, I don't hey. know what I want to say. So, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. And am I still frightened? My oh, uh, nineteen. You're not scared anymore, but you're still babbling incoherently. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. With that, Wrath, it is your turn. Um, I run into the room seeing my friends incapacitate I, I just assume Rudy's like tired from all the killing there's like a dead fish corpse under her <laughs> she she is on the ground repeating incoherent phrases that's like a Tuesday night for you <laughs> <laughs> you got into something that Bruce usually gets into I get it stay out of that stuff stay out of the cat drawer um, I'm going to uh uh cast hypnotic pattern and I want to try to get both of these other oh I don't know how to use the are you guys seeing all this this nonsense that I'm doing yes <laughs> yes we're, we're seeing the nonsense of your drawings you want to try to get both of them in the yeah, area the and, and I, I guess I can't get him so I'm going to try to get both of these guys in the hypnotic pattern Cool, 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 cool. Uh, are you, um, are you cast, uh, um, so I'll make my saving throws for that. Uh-oh. What's the saving throw, DC? Uh, Wrath is a 16. One succeeds, but one fails. So the, uh, um, the closest one is incapacitated by your hypnotic pattern. Okay. And then I'm going to yell at the Cardinal in his mind. Um, You are trespassing on sacred ground. Stop your ritual. You have no right to cast this spell. 
Um, the cardinal does not reply. Uh, okay, the marrow. Um, the only non-incapacitated one <laughs> is going to um, come around over to the water and is going to... Um, he is going to throw his harpoon at you, Wrath. Hey! Uh, getting a 19 to hit. That definitely hits. Okay, that is going to be uh, a total of 11 points of piercing damage, and you need to make a strength contest against me. Uh-oh. That's it. my one weakness. 16! Uh, yeah, I get a 23. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, he reels you in towards him <laughs> and uh, tries to bite your head off. Hey, that's my head. Uh, getting a 16 to hit. Um, that is a hit. Uh, it's going to be another 10 points of slashing damage. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of uh, big old con saves. Yep. For the, this is where Wrath shines. A 22 and a 20. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm getting still... chomped on, but I remember Bruce has taught me well. Okay. As he's chewing on me, he's like holding me and chewing on me with like a, a javelin in my chest. The end of the round. You can see that billowing through, there is almost this sort of fracture in reality that is starting to open up around the cardinal as as if some uh, someone is just instead of as if someone was opening up a stomach that was under surgery or, or the skin of reality was just being peeled off off and something horrible was being opened up and as it does so you can see that there is this bulbous orb of of some sort of flesh from which all manner of barbed tendrils and eyes is beginning to manifest in the chamber uh, wilhelm it is your turn you are frightened of the cardinal oh no right i forgot about that part uh does the water look contaminated not yet. Cool. Um, <laughs> the water I got dragged through? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's that's good news. Good, yeah. good for that. So bear in mind that you are frightened, so you cannot move closer to the source of your fear, and you have disadvantage on attack rolls while you can see them. Oh, nuts. Um, can, I, can I shoot at this guy? Uh, yes, you can. Since I'm... Uh, you would need to move position to not get through the barrier. Uh, that makes it even harder. I was going to use steady aim. Um, okay, so I have to move in order to not shoot through the Yeah. Barrier. Yep. Yeah, man. Just punishing me tonight. All right. The circle um, of, of no arrows. Uh, I will move over here <clears throat> and I guess take my shot with disadvantage, but that's okay because Wilhelm is amazing and lucky sometimes i i know i know <laughs> i've so, heard so i've heard um okay actually i think this might be all right i get a 19 to hit it's a hit no sneak attack but it's a hit doing eight damage nice uh anything else will help i'm gonna bonus action shoot again all right do it uh this time getting an 18 well that disadvantage really didn't <laughs> disadvantage <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it goes through the shot the, the shot just you start perforating it as best you can despite despite your fear uh gripping your mind you fire two shots that both hit what was the damage on the second shot uh it is nine I imagine nice. that the uh, the eye patch is actually sort of blocking him out of your peripheral, so then you can yes. just fo you're like yes. just really focusing yeah. on the yeah. shot. I line it up so that <laughs> I, my my vision can't even see the cardinal right yeah. now. I'm too focused on my shot. You uh, can make a saving throw against the f uh, the fear. It's another charisma save. Charisma. Yep. Fourteen. Oh, uh, womp <laughs> Okay. Um, well, another arcane anomaly is triggered. Who would like oh. to roll it this time? I mean, uh, Wilhelm. Okay. 
Um, sure. I'm busy. It's <laughs> getting a D20, chewed on. <laughs> D20, right? Yep. Uh, I'm super close to him. Can I have a four, please? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the near, uh, uh, a creature becomes unstuck in time. It is affected by the blink spell for one minute. Instead of vanishing into the ethereal plane, the creature vanishes into a sliver of time from its past or possible future. So it goes. Uh, so we will have everyone roll a d20, and whoever gets the lowest becomes unstuck in time. <laughs> I got a one. Oh. Oh, okay, so Rath, you become unstuck in time. <laughs> Uh, I want to hear about where you go past, yeah. present, and future selves. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, right now, um, we're gonna say immediately you vanish, <laughs> and so at the start Bye. of your turn, you'll appear. You'll you'll appear again, but you're you're gonna vanish for now. <laughs> Just <laughs> where does, stuck where does Rath go? <laughs> I go in front of. Um, I'm getting yelled at by a teacher in the academy, um, and and I'm I'm like sitting in like class and and I'm being uh, reprimanded for not paying attention and and having my homework late and and I and I'm being embarrassed in front of the whole uh, the whole classroom. Now you have no memory of that actually happening because as you remember it, you were just kind of dozed off for like six <laughs> seconds and then got, got, got suddenly yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like wait, wait. I'm a. Uh, what's happening? Okay. Um. So the cardinal. Uh, the cardinal. Um, focuses. Uh, continues focusing on his spell. Uh, and he. Um, is just going to turn to you, Will Wilhelm, mm -hmm. and he says. Uh, he commands out this booming word that just sounds like um, drop. Make a charisma saving throw. He's casting command on you. I don't take commands from... Uh -oh. um, I got a 12. Uh, you drop uh, You drop your crossbow. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh. You're just a good listener. Thank you. Um, Wait, you're cool. not here, Rath. <laughs> you hear it in your mind. You don't. Um, then, uh, Rudy, it is your turn. You are babbling incoherently. Still on the ground, and I, I see Rath going, I'm like, the ducks have taken the servant of cats to the world! <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> on the ground. Um, Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wisdom, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. It looks like you're going to be babbling on a little bit longer there, Rudy. Sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wrath, uh, it is your, your, your turn. You appear again with a pop anywhere within 10 feet of your current position. Um, I like to think I appear like uh you know a little bit to the side and about like five feet in the air like oh as i appear <laughs> back a short drop yeah and, and then i just kind of land in the water and i'm not really sure what just happened because i went back to sleep in, in school um or i sort of blinked <laughs> i sort of blinked yeah. and as i opened my yeah. eyes i was back um yeah. and um i'm gonna shoot so i can i can i shoot at the thing that i was just attacking uh, yeah, that was just you, attacking me. The the blink spell would let you move it, like reappear in such okay. a place where you won't have to have disadvantage. I appreciate the, the, that. The, this this one is actually one of the nice arcane anomalies <laughs> to have happen to you, even though it's weird. <laughs> um, I I'm just trying to focus on the present. I'm like, as long as I'm in this reality, uh, I'm gonna shoot at this creature. Ooh, and I own I get a uh, uh a twelve to hit. Oh, it's just a miss. And my second shot is a 15. That's a hit. Um, for uh, 
12 damage. He is bloodied, but still alive. And I'm going to push him back uh, 10 feet uh, with my okay. repelling blast. Um, All right. Put, uh, so there we go. And and so he, it just sort of like knocks him uh, backwards. And I'm still concentrating on hypnotic pattern, right? Yep, like it's yep. still happening. Yep. The, the blink doesn't impair your ability to do that. And I'm going to look over at Rudy and Wilhelm to try to see if they can make sense of what just happened to me. Um, but that's my turn. All right. Uh, the marrow is going to press its attack on you, hurling its uh, trident, its har- harpoon trident once again at you, getting another 19 to hit. Oh, wait. Do I disappear again because of the blink? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We should actually check for that. Uh, roll or, uh, roll a d6 on a four or more. You disappear. Uh-oh. Six. <laughs> okay. So you do pop out of existence. Uh-oh. So um, he would would then not be able to do that. Uh, so, um, the, uh, so he is going to do, he's going to turn that shot towards Wilhelm. Uh, Wilhelm, that's a 19 to hit you. Sorry, Wilhelm. Uh, it's going to be 11 points of piercing damage and Wilhelm may give me a strength check. Uh, I got a three. <laughs> I got a 12. So you are reeled in leaving your crossbow behind to there and then he's going to walk up and bite you love it uh getting a critical hit Lo- love oh it. no well uh for a <laughs> uh, grand total of uh 16 points of uh slashing damage i'm gonna half that <laughs> smart all righty wilhelm over to you crossbow 20 feet back up that way you're down here. Uh, so I, I'm just gonna take out my rapier, my moon-touched rapier, as it glows in the sky, and I'm just going to like try to drive it into him, almost like I almost like pull it up and then try to drive it down into him. Um, nice. So let's see if I can do that. Oh yeah, I do. That's gonna be a, a twenty-seven. Nice, it's a hit. Woo! I Even with a disadvantage? So. Oh, because I'm still afraid. Yeah. Okay, hold <laughs> the on. The fear. The fear. Oh, come on. There's a one. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so uh, happy. Marty's so happy with um, that. Uh, I'm going to bonus action disengage. Okay. And I'm going to run back and dive for the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, works for me. Okay, who hasn't rolled an arcane anomaly yet? Joe, me. Joe. All right, it's your turn, bud. Number three. D twenty, correct? Yep. Oh, I got a three. Did we already do three? Two, we want to. No, we did two and four. Okay. Time skips a beat. Creatures within 60 feet experience a palpable feeling of Virgo, followed by a powerful sensation of deja vu, and are stunned for one round with no saving throw. So everybody is stunned. <laughs> Except me, because I'm for you, in the. Because you are <laughs> stuck in time! <laughs> Does that mean you get like a free. Does, does that Joe, Joe gets a free round? Mind. Basically, yeah. Wow. Oh. Good job, Wrath. You're really benefiting um, from the match. And because of the arcane anomaly uh, stunning the other two, well, it doesn't interrupt the ritual of the cardinal. It does knock the shield down um, because the the other two are both stunned now. Uh, can I check to see if I'm still afraid, by the way? Uh, yes, please roll that. I got a nine. You are. Uh, so yeah, that's that'll be interesting. Uh, so the cardinal's stunned. Rudy's stunned, but Rudy, you can roll to see if you get out of the uh, um, hideous laughter. Let's see what happened? <laughs> All right, you're still babbling incoherently. Wrath, you reappear within ten feet of where you disappeared. So you are now there. 
Uh, but anywhere within 10 feet of that. I want to appear here. Okay. And I'm going to just seeing this, taking in the moment, this, I just came back from my parents were yelling about how, um, I overheard my, my dad and my mom yelling at each other and like fighting because they're not sure what to do with me. Like, do I even belong in magic school if I don't have any magical <laughs> capabilities? Like, what's what are they going to do with me? I'm like a sort of a, a black stain on the family. And then I appear back here um, and uh, I just start shooting um, Eldritch Blast at this creature. All right. Uh, at, or sorry, at the uh, at the Cardinal. Okay, go for it. Um, and he's stunned. Yep, so you have advantage on the shots. <gasps> Free shots. Oh, a 19, 27 to hit. It's a hit. Um, for uh, ooh, six damage. But Out I'm going to knock him back 10 feet. All right. And I take another shot, uh, a 17 to hit. It's a hit. For, uh, ooh, there we go, 15 damage nice and so i'm just kind of walking and i'm gonna knock him back another 10 feet all right knocking him away the delirium crystal is still floating in in the middle of the air and now it's it's kind of like someone just left the wheel of the car (laughs) so like the car wasn't driving in a good direction to begin with and now no one's driving it at all (laughs) Good. And I'm going to approach the uh, the crystal. Uh, yeah, there's some bad magic coming out of this thing. Um, you, you, uh, but you want to see if you're, you want to blink away first? Uh, yeah, uh, do I? Another six. <laughs> All right. You disappear. You become unstuck. And I, I start to go closer to it, and I just pop. <laughs> Wink! <laughs> no! Yep. All righty. Uh, so the marrow are stunned. Wilhelm, uh, you're stunned. So we're actually back to the anomaly. <laughs> Who wants to roll it again? Uh, but Wilhelm, you can roll to see if you break out your out of your fear. Sweet. I'll roll the anomaly. Oh, I got a 19. Alrighty. Seven. Really low, rolling low on those anomalies. Discordant music fills the mind of all creatures within thirty feet, affecting you all by irresistible dance. (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing, but it seems to be some sort of robot maneuver. Everybody starts dancing. Why am I doing this? (laughs) Oh, the groove. I could feel it. How long, <laughs> how long do I do this for? Uh, so irresist- the irresistible dance lasts until you spend an action to get out of it. <laughs> but I'm having such a good time. <laughs> can we do anything while we're dancing? I'm assuming not. Uh, no, you jazz uh, hands. So you can be you begin a com- uh, comic dance in place, shuffling, tapping its feet, and capering for the duration. Uh, if you can't be charmed, you're immune to it. Uh, you must use all your movement to dance without leaving your space, and you have a, d- a disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and attack rolls. While the target is affected by the spell, other creatures have advantage on attack rolls against it. As an action, a dancing creature can make a wisdom saving throw to regain control of itself. So you can actually still attack. You just do so with disadvantage. <laughs> it's a dance attack. <laughs> And you can't move, so you have to. It has to be right beside yeah, you. Yeah, and yeah. it has to incorporate it into your dance. Okay, so the cardinal is dancing in place, <laughs> uh, and as he dances and nimbly ca- and capers nimbly, he throws a lightning bolt at Wilhelm. Uh, no! <laughs> what? And incorporate it into your dance. Oh, um, what's, uh, yeah. What, is that a deck save? Yeah, with disadvantage because of the irresistible dance. Love it. This has been such a good time. Uh, lucky, lucky comes out. 
giving me a 19. Oh, that's a successful save. Yeah, it's oh, the luck yeah. It's the luck point, man. Ah, no dip. That was a nice lightning bolt, too. That would have been 30 damage, bud. I, I like, twirl. I, um, what's, <laughs> twirling, what's twirling, twirling out of the way. Um, safety. Pirouette. A pirouette. Okay. I imagine, like, the splits. Like, as it's coming to you, you just Ooh, fall I down. Jump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just goes right over your head or something. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Rudy, <laughs> you're babbling incoherently and trying to dance. You're like flopping like a fish. I guess. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just like now instead of just babbling things, I'm just like singing to myself and like I'm, she's a maniac, maniac. <laughs> I'm just like dancing on the spot though, oh. <laughs> turning around. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you can make a wisdom saving throw to get out of the uh, to, to get out of the hideous laughter, but not the irresistible dance. Yeah. Two. <laughs> wow, this took you out for the entire fight. <laughs> yeah, the fight isn't over. You still can lose. <laughs> Wrath, it's your turn. You over reappear. These dice. No. So when I reappear, everyone's now just suddenly dancing. <laughs> Just yeah. to be clear, when I left, I feel like every time you snap back in, you have to like, you're not sure if it's the same reality because things have changed. So like you're like, now we're all dancing. What? What's yeah. happening? I am so very confused. So very, um, you know, because I was just, you know, uh, meeting bruce you know we were just hanging out in a park and he was showing me like uh these incantations uh to be used to call upon him and also um what kind of chicken he likes and how he likes it prepared and then i'm back here so i'm gonna take more shots of the cardinal if All he's right. out of his uh his thing 18 to hit it's a hit um you actually have, you actually have advantage on the attack rolls because he's dancing Ooh, even better. Okay. Um, yeah, still 18. Thank you. Uh, 12 damage. Okay. And I'm going to knock him back another 10 feet. If I uh, if I can. Yep. Just going to keep launching yep. him. Um, He's up against the wall. And then a, a 19 to hit for... Nice. Uh, ooh, only 6 damage. And now I'm just pushing him against the wall. Yeah, just slamming him back up against the wall. And I'm just uh, yelling uh, in, in in into the air. Yeah, you are messing with things you do not understand. You are a weak-minded man, and you have no control over these uh, this power. What have you brought upon us? It will be our downfall. You are not enlightened. You are unworthy. Hmm. And he said. He he replies. You have no idea what lurks beyond the gate. Open your eyes. Uh, the marrow, uh, who one is still surprisingly incapacitated, but the, but the other is not, and he's gonna smash you. Am I still him. blinking? I I got oh, a four. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh yeah, you. How check, long does this go blinking. on for? How long does it go on for? Uh, for one minute, so it's gonna happen till the end. So, uh, oh. so you do blink out. So yeah. this guy, this guy is dancing uncontrollably, so he can't move. So he's gonna try to stop dancing, and he does. Uh, oh. So that's his turn, though. So he he stops dancing. So we go back to the top with Wilhelm. Wilhelm uh, flies into a beautiful single-toed pirouette. Uh, on the spot, and as he comes out of it, he whips his crossbow out and tries to fire at the cardinal. So you have disadvantage on your attack roll, but he grants advantage, so they cancel each other out. Cool. <laughs> Neat. I, I was about to use steady aim, but that that works too. Uh, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'm doing a spinning shot at him. Okay. And we have. 14 to hit? Uh, you know what? I 
Yes, that's a hit. All Woo! right. Um, that's with no sneak attack. Wait, does the advantage and no? Because I have disadvantage. Yeah, they can't yeah, cancel yeah, each other out. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, oh, that's going to be eleven damage. And I'm gonna. Nice. I keep spinning, and I'm gonna shoot at him again. <laughs> Catch him on the uh, the next uh, cycle. Twenty twenty four. Ooh. Also a hit. Doing another uh, just six damage. Whittling them away. Almost there. And still dancing. Another anomaly is triggered. <laughs> I will roll it, I suppose. Oh, not, not a D100. D20. We got an 8. We're, we're climbing up slowly. <laughs> slowly <laughs> climbing the anomaly ladder. <laughs> yep, slow, slowly, uh, slowly climbing, slowly climbing. Okay. Um... So with this one, um, oh, this one doesn't work. Oh, that's sad. There's no humanoid corpses here. Um, all humanoid corpses within 120 feet animate as hostile haze husks. The shrieking undead beg frantically for forgiveness as they rip apart the living, but there's no humanoid corpses to be animated. Sad. So sad. Uh, alrighty, so the Cardinal, um, he is going to throw another lightning bolt at Wilhelm. Thank you. Give me that deck save, buddy. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of ones. Uh, do I have disadvantage still on the deck save? Yeah. Yep. I will use my... F no, I won't even because it's still disadvantage and I rolled two really low numbers, so it's not even worth it. Um, cool. I get a 10. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, you take 12 damage from <gasps> the saddest lightning bolt in <laughs> ever. <laughs> can I... Can I I'm not having good luck with lightning bolts. Can, can I cunning action oh, no. to take half of that? Uh, uh, uncanny dodge to, to do that? No, dodge. no, uh, uncanny. There, no, it's just twelve damage. All right. Four ones, two twos, and two threes. That's interesting. Yeah, that, if there was one you were gonna fail, that was the one to fail. Oh. Good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rudy, how you doing? <laughs> doing the thriller dance currently. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you can get out of this. You could do it, Rudy. Fifteen. You are out of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still you, dancing, but I'm like, oh my, <laughs> what is yeah, going on? You are no longer babbling incoherently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and wrath, you pop back into existence. Um, so taking a quick survey, this that you said that this um delirium crystal is like now out of control um it's not past it isn't yet past the point of no return but it's not going well <laughs> someone better do something and is it seem to be fueled by this pool like is the pool the conduit is it the creature the conduit how can it can i make some kind of connection? check um or an investigation check uh which one would help a one the most? <laughs> neither. It's neither. neither. The short neither. answer is I have no idea what's happening. Again, I was just in the cafeteria um, a minute ago um, eating uh, chicken noodle soup. <clears throat> so this is all very jarring. All righty. Well, I hope you guys can figure it out. Um, uh, I, okay. Well, what I'm going to do then is this crystal's floating, right? Yeah. Can I touch it? Are you wearing gloves? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. You, you have the gloved hand because of your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My... Yeah, you can touch it. Um, I'm gonna try to thunder step it out of the room. Alrighty. Give me a charisma saving throw. 
I get a uh ooh baby. Um I get a 21. Okay. The magic of the spell is wholly absorbed. Um but you are you feel like you are like there's a moment where like you yank it out of place and then it jumps back where it was and and almost like you you were going to go to disappear and it pu- got pulled back in. So whatever you did worked. <laughs> ah. Um but it's going to take a little bit more than just that. Okay, so I I tried to grab it and pull it out of the room. Yeah, it pulled me so, back in. Yeah, and so and you could imagine that the tether, you kind of just pull, like almost as if pulling it apart, like you were you cinching what it was ripping apart back together, but you're going to need to cinch it a little bit more. Like it needs like two or three really good tugs like that to just pull it out it won't move uh the this this magic was almost absorbed by it we need to push this thing and um i blink out of existence again (laughs) all right do you leave your hands on the crystal when you do uh, technically, yeah, as far as I can, yeah, I probably okay. would have left give me my... Another, give me another charisma saving throw. Oh! Um, oh, that's a nine. Okay. As, as you do, um, the backlash of your hands being on the crystal, uh, causes, uh, 12 points of psychic damage to you. Um, but, uh... Uh, but there's no other effects beyond that um, as you zip out of existence. Okay. Okay, um, ow. Yeah. The marrow. Uh, surprisingly, uh, this marrow is still uh, still at it. Uh, I, how he has survived this long is remarkable to me. So he's going to come over and start beating up Rudy. I'm uh, technically uh, over here somewhere. Uh, he gets a 23 to hit. Uh, and uh, 25 to hit with his attacks on you, Rudy. Um, you know what? Shield, so I'm going to only take one of those because with haste, I have plus two to my AC, so... <laughs> nice, okay. Nice. So he does come over and stab you twice uh, for a total of 14 points of, of uh, piercing damage. All right. I dance into one of the like the attacks. <laughs> Wilhelm, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to use my action to try to stop dancing. It's okay. A wisdom saving throw. Uh, yes, that is correct. I'm going to use a luck point to not roll a one. Okay. Uh, I got a ten. You're looking for fifteen, bud. Sorry. Oh, which I will. Fortunately, this this round, because um, Will, uh, Wrath has started closing the apparatus, um, there is only a 50-50 chance that we have an arcane al- anomaly this turn. Mm-hmm. So someone can roll me a d6, and on a 1, 2, or 3, we have an arcane anomaly. I'll roll a d6. Ready? Three. Okay, we have one. <laughs> is it my turn to roll? Okay. Yep. Uh, 15. Drum roll. Okay. Um, with this one, um, it's we have time speeds up for one randomly determined creature within 60 feet. They are affected by haste for one minute. So everybody can roll a d20 and whoever gets the highest is hasted. I assume that I'm not part... E- am I still part of it or am I out of the... You're, you're out of the area. Yeah, okay. Uh, I got a 19... Three. Uh, Wilhelm, you are hasted. <laughs> but I can't move. Because <laughs> I'm dancing. You're so dancing, dancing so fast. Yes, yeah, so fast. The dance speed doubles. It's like the tempo, just like it went from ba, ba, ba to now it's ba, 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 and everything's like, <laughs> <laughs> like a blur. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. The Blurs. Cardinal. Um, Cardinal is still dancing. Um, he's going to try to get out of the dance. Uh, he does. Oh. Uh, so he is going to do that and he is going to move 
uh over to here great um rudy it is your turn you are capering nimbly okay um and disadvantage on attack rolls if i use help would that just give me a regular attack yes it'll it'll cancel it out yeah okay so i'm dancing and uh is houdini affected by dancing yes houdini is dancing bird dancing but, right. can, but houdini could still help t- uh, roll roll to see if houdini's broken out of the dance okay because we forgot about houdini and bruce yeah bruce has been hiding three King okay himself. so houdini so no help from houdini this turn. no help so okay disadvantage i'm gonna try to hit this guy uh 11 19 to hit it's a hit wow uh seven damage uh we're gonna go at him again nice uh, 15 to hit it's it is um 13 damage you cut him down and i can see the cardinal right yes you can um i'm gonna throw a hand axe at him (laughs) All right, it's long range disadvantage, but you go for it. <laughs> dis- yep. Double dis- disadvantage. Um, thirteen to hit. It's a hit. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's eleven damage. He's still kicking though. Anything else, Rudy? I do a jig in the spot. All righty, <laughs> Wrath, you reappear. Um. This, this, I, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of spells, but maybe, like, if I'm touching this thing, does it move at all, or is it, no, it's it, like, it, it, it doesn't move, no. Whatever I have to do to it is, is something of magical power, um, mm-hmm. I do not have, I, I've, I've run low on those capabilities, um so thinking outside the box um i want to try to using my spell my ring storing spell i'm going to cast suggestion on the cardinal you need to stop this magic interesting what's my saving throw dc 16 i get a 15 (sighs) seizing the magic the cardinal says i must stop this magic and he comes forward grasps the delirium shard reaches in to the the portal that is come that is slowly ripping open and slips in through it and with just this sucking sound is like what and it closes and that's where we'll take our break oh <laughs> <laughs> uh. Are we all still dancing? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you all continue dancing in victory. <laughs> and we are back from our break. We have scarfed down some food, and we are going to get back into some, playing some D&D. So as the Cardinal grasps onto the Delirium Shard and pulls and, and, and enters into the that small sliver of space that was opening back up again, there's that awful sucking sound. <sighs> And, a, and it closes with a pop, and with a small tink and splash, the delirium shard lands on the ground and the water calms again. Damn it! <laughs> that That is the second time that we have been in an elven ruin, and the creature that we were hunting disappeared through... 
something? Give me a perception check, Wilhelm. Twenty. It's prob as you watched him get sucked in, he was getting ripped apart. So he got sucked in and closed that thing, but it but that was a very <laughs> fatal slurping process. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he wasn't he when he went through did his body just do that because magic or is that him dying? No, like his his body was contorted and sucked into this small hole that yeah. was being ripped open. Will trying and to make And there was like a, a slight like, like shredding, like <laughs> slucking, like crunching noise. Raph, is that how they normally is that how it works? Usually it's a doorway, not a blender. Uh it 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 appears that this this thing um, both closed the doorway and ended itself. Well, I had questions for it. Po possibly by accident. Or by uh, suggestion. I I did not think that it would do something so um, careless, but it may not have known what it was dealing with. As I stated before, um, dealing with interplanar travel, this pool is giving off uh, magic that I've never seen and can the, barely comprehend. The other creature is almost slightly catatonic in shock and just kind of lays at the edge of the, uh, languishes at the edge of the, the pool. Um, perhaps uh, you know, dropping its weapons and, and falling and like falling down. Uh, I'm going to approach it and um as I do, I'm going to say in every language I know, I don't know if it speaks any of them, common, dwarvish, elvish, and thieves can't, I'm going to say, where is the Duchess? It it speaks in, in a very, like, guttural and throaty common, deep beneath the bay in the, her garden surface walker shall not find her palace garden more will come she will send another this is her domain now you were a servant to this cardinal this creature it did not treat you as an equal what was its um, plan we are equal in service to the duchess Uh, do we have a map? Can we get it to point at a map where this garden is? <laughs> Bring a map! Anybody, anybody have a map? <laughs> it it kind of in a flish, fishy sort of chuckle <laughs> you will not swim beneath the waves surface walker Raph. I mean Rap you can help us swim beneath the waves can't you we will be fine this I how did this creature get in how did you get here I was Ashafen. Sh oh, maybe he was from Ashafen. Ashafen. Now, sir, do you mean that we physically won't be able to swim beneath the waves? Or is there some secret magical way we have to get into the Duchess's guard. Mm, you will arrive like us. Oh. If you seek the Duchess, she will take you as a servant 
Oh, nay. Well, that's Probably a magical not. problem. Uh, I guess there's no way to entice the Duchess to come see us, is there? You may bring her a gift. An offering. Uh, what's she like? What, what, what sort of mm. gifts is she like? Magic. Wrath? Grab that delirium crystal. And we will offer it to the Duchess. If you bring her magic, she will make you like me. Good. That's what we want, right? Right, guys? That's what we want. We want to go see the Duchess so that she can turn us into fish. I will bring you if you bring her a gift. I mean, we can bring a gift, but can... I want to see her in this form so she can see how terrible looking a surface dweller I am before she transforms me into what I rightly must be. It won't matter. She will make you whole when you see her. You bring her a gift. I will show you. <laughs> uh, Do we want to find this creature? That this is Duchess? Our goal. But what do we do about um, Bain Moon? And should we leave this portal un unguarded? Can we turn the back on the... We could turn the dials back to where they were when we found them. We can leave this place and lock it behind us. And Bane Moon, I believe, will serve better as its keeper than he would with us mm. for now. Once we deal with the Duchess and the fish problem is alleviated, then we can send back for Bane Moon to be brought to, um, to Grandswing, perhaps. You will bring a gift with me, and then you will come back, and together we will give this building as a gift to the Duchess. Yes, we're on the same page. That's what we're saying, too. Can and you... Shh. Do you know, you've seen the Duchess, yes? Yes. What if we... I want to go get Voltar's scrying orb. Uh, Voltar, uh, act, um, the scrying orb is fixed in place. So it's part of the building. I, my friends, if we potentially take this creature to show us where the duchess is maybe it will and be easier to, to find her just just before you go too far on that plan Voltar's scrying orb only works only shows you locations within the tower okay okay now, wrath i got a question i know you can change yourself is there any way you could change the appearance of uh me or uh wilhelm no. no. Although may I may be able to take on the form of the cardinal. Should we be saying this in front of this guy? Oh, we're going to kill him. <laughs> no, he has to bring us to the duchess. We will be able to find the duchess. He is a liability. No, we have a one-way ticket directly to the duchess. And you don't want to take it? Our problems are solved. Our problem was we don't know where the Duchess is. And now we've just been invited to meet her. The, I mean, it could be extremely dangerous, but also it is our mission to slay, um, to uh, <clears throat> befriend the Duchess. We might have to 
befriend our way out once we get there. Mm. Yeah, that's it's going to be a tough one if we are led right in and say we don't have a choice on what we look like on the way out. Well, there's two there's two ways that I see it. Uh, either the Duchess either we go looking for the Duchess and probably find the rest of these fish folk and probably have to kill our way in to get to her. Or we're bought, brought directly to her kill the leader. The snake rots from the head? Is that a saying? You cut the head of the snake off and the body dies. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think if you cut anyone's head off, their Rudy body knows. dies. <laughs> and the totally knows that. I, I would know. Chickens. Okay? Now, th- what I'm saying is if we sever the head of the fish people being the duchess, perhaps the others will, will fall out. They won't be as unified. Um, but it is a risky option to go straight there. So... I'm not the sheriff here. <laughs> I'm just I saying. believe that it is um, possible to use this creature to gain access to the Duchess Kingdom. Although I found I find that it may be in the past we have used prisoners as tokens of entrance and it has proved um interesting right well, i think i got an idea right you, you 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 can suggest things to people you can change their minds on things yeah from time to time all right uh i mean <laughs> we have done this before where <laughs> i have been bait <laughs> uh i'm wondering if you taking on the look at the cardinal and suggesting to this fine guild fellow over here that you know that you are the cardinal and you're taking us back. Wilhelm, could you potentially sneak on the way? You know, be unseen. Uh, Wrath, I, mean, I hope. Are you we can all make taking a boat together? Because it's going to be hard. Swimming. Yeah, we would swim our way. Yes, you will come beneath the waves with me. You can breathe, yes. Otherwise, you will not get far. But is no matter. Before you drown, the Duchess will save you. Uh, yeah, I can do that, Rudy. I can. That means that he's. She's probably close. No? Seemingly. Sounds like she's closer close. than we think. I think with a little magic and a little strategy on how to get in, we could do it. If this guy thinks what well, we want him to think, Wrath, you look like the Cardinal. And uh, Wilhelm, if you can be Wrath, I don't know if you can make him invisible and breathe underwater, two things. That's a lot of magic. I don't know how much you have left, or do we need to rest before? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, I blew it all. Um, okay. I've expended my, uh, my energies. The, the crystals seem to suck it out of me. I mean, that or we could just we can rest and then have this fella take us anyways. He's willing. Uh, Sir Sir Fish, would you allow us to collect ourselves uh, before we go? I'm your prisoner now, am I not? We never said that. You're, um, you're our new... Am I? If you do not stop me, I will go back to the Duchess now. I thought you were going to bring us. I thought you wanted us to be recruited. How would we find it if you leave us? Fine. Not a prisoner. When will you go? Uh, Give us um, some... We must collect... An hour or two? We must collect the magic item that we will bring to the Duchess. Very well. That's true. We need her gift. Very well. 
I cannot get out of this place on my own now. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Yeah, it's a lot of left turns. Um, it languishes in the pool. The door opens in Voltar Bane Moon, and one of his cats come down. You did it. Good. Where was the man? Um. Uh, yeah. He He's fell. No longer with us. He <laughs> fell in this portal. He um. He's in pieces in another dimension. You could say that. Is that... He points to the delirium shard. The delirium crystal. Is that it? Yes. That is the, the... The thing that fell on us. What was it trying to do? The... That... Cardinal fellow. It had some kind of force. It was protecting it. It was calling upon this crystal. The pool was rippling. I do not know the exact idea, but it looked like it was trying to open some kind of door. It would need help. Was it powerful? That being? It had some kind of help from some otherworldly creature. This one knows it as the Duchess. Huh. I... This is where we came through. This is where we arrived. This room. It was here. I was standing with all our people. And... It brought us here. This is a... How do you say it in your language, in your tongue? It is a thin place here. A place where it is easy to slip between worlds. We've encountered these thin places before. In places similar to this. There is a space between worlds. This these creatures these creatures are the the magic there in that space between worlds. Well, that is the magic that that crystal the space between worlds is like the the glue that holds all of our worlds together, all colliding upon each other. It is where the magic comes from. Are you, are you saying that delirium, this crystal, is from that glue, from that space? Well, we all are. We are all made of that glue. We, it's all magic. It's all just the same. It's just... It's... He trails off. We're just more organized. Hmm. Interesting. Magic doesn't have a will. Unless there's a mortal or... Otherwise, mind behind it. It doesn't want anything. It doesn't do anything. It just tries things. If And the space between worlds is just such a place. It, it's just a place where all possibility is tried. That's just what magic is. Possibility. When you cast a spell, you are just deciding what becomes possible in that moment. At least that's what I th think. That sounds right, I think. So to cast spells, if I just decide what exists, it happens. Is that how magic works? <laughs> that's mm. the secret. The thing is, is that 
Well, for our people. After a while, things become too organized. Minds become fixed. They become inflexible. They can't... They are not open to the possibility anymore that things could be, well, magical. And thus, cut off from that. That's why some never can grasp on its threads anymore. And when those who can, are you saying that with some lack delirium, they can make more happen? Well, think of it as, well, it's just, it's like having a direct line to the source. That's all. Well, I don't know if I'll ever fully understand what it is we're talking about here, but it's fascinating nonetheless. However, we do have bigger <laughs> fish to fry. I, he smiles. I, I feel like there's a part of myself that is. I didn't think I remembered anything, but I still, I don't know how I learned this. I don't know where it came from. I don't know why I know it. It's like everything about me, except this knowledge of magic, is just gone. You sent all I am. A, you sent us a warning, Volta, many years ago. And although you may not remember it, there, it was a message, and it was grave, and it was dire, and you, you're the reason that we are here, and I hope that if you continue to try, you will remember the true purpose and be able to help us, but you have been more than, more than cooperative, and I thank you for that. It's... Hmm. Yes, yes, well... <sighs> <sighs> the, uh, with what I can remember, I, I will. Do you think these creatures will come back here? Will they? Yes. This. They'll try. That's why we need to put a stop to it. I don't think that I could open this gate again on my own. Whatever this creature is that can do this is something that is already so contaminated by this eldritch force that it is a part of it. You understand? In, in a way, yes. The... There's something that happens. It, it's the mind and the body of what we've become, what we are. We just can't comprehend this type of possibility, this type of roiling chaos. Mm. Our, we are creatures of order. We are creatures of patterns. We are creatures of thought and reason. That is the antithesis of magic. Magic is not reason. It is not order. It is chaos. We just happen to be lucky enough to be able to turn it to a few useful purposes. But it is... It, it is dangerous. This is why. Well, I mean, whatever we can do to help slow that chaos, slow that danger, that's what we're here to do. We have mm. to go meet this creature where it's at if we want to 
help to protect this space and the space of the world around it. I would like to go to the city that you told me of. Dranswind. When we return, we will take you there. I would like to see it for myself. The idea that there could be so much of this. What it could do. I feel like the... I feel like if I could see it for myself. It's like my mind is trying to dance around this black hole of memory. Mm. As if there's a piece missing for me. I don't think I'll remember, but I don't think I would not be able to learn again. Mm. So you want to see Drakenheim, the, the city struck by the meteor? Yes. Are there other mages amongst you? There are. I, I should like to meet them, perhaps. Quite a few, actually. Yes, they would be interested in meeting you as well. Mm. There's, there's more here to the tower. There's another place of the tower that we could go to if you needed to. I, you'd need to know the spell, though. I could teach it. It's very high up. Uh, yes. Yes. I haven't been there in some time, but you could rest there, perhaps. That would be uh, incredible. That would be very useful, and I mean, is there a way we can and I point to the, the fish guy <laughs> we can also have him in a safe place so he could take us on our journey after? Mm. Yes. Yes, we can keep him secure here. I, I can help lock him in the arcane lock room. <laughs> yeah, yep, you, you very easily could. Okay. Yep. We'll get him when we're ready. Stay in your room, sir. We'll come back <laughs> for you when we are ready to leave. But you're not a prisoner. Not a, not a prisoner. I'm just not a prisoner. We're saying it, so it's real. He's our guest. He's our he's mm. our he's he's our guide, and uh, he offered that position. Yeah. Okay. So what is what are your next steps going to be? Uh, I mean, if we can take a long rest, more in the haze. <laughs> oh, does the tower go tall enough to the 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 these parts of the tower are insul are effectively insulated against it, right? So okay. where um because where where Valtar Baymoon's chambers are are like up down up again. Um, the haze has not penetrated, like has not yet penetrated past this. It's almost like the remarkable construction of this building might somehow have that natural sort of like the thick stone construction of it, like and the way that it's built. It's almost like a bunker inside. So yes, you can rest here. And would the sending stones work here because they're not in the haze? Or uh, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could contact River here. I say we send River a message. Let her know that we found Bane, Bane Moon. Marius, yes. Rudy, right? Mm. Uh, and that we are headed to the Duchess. Um, anything else we should let her know? Uh, we've been invited to meet the Duchess, and it we is know near where the it White is. House. Yeah, we 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 have a potential lead on where it is, and we are going to go. Uh, it's going it. to be dangerous. Yep. Um, rivers. Um, rivers' reply comes as um, protect Bane Moon, destroy the Duchess. We're on the same page as River. Yeah. 
I roll my eyes as, uh, as like we get the message. Come on, River. Uh, right. that, was, that seems classic. That seems... <laughs> Thanks, River. I wasn't <laughs> planning any of that. Oh, uh, don't and, tell, and the, 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 the last part is, um, we'll send cleanup crew to tower shortly. Please accomplish these things before they arrive. Good. So we have somebody coming to fetch Bane Moon and clean up this magical mess. Uh, and we need to go uh, fishing, I suppose, after mm -hmm. we take a little rash, a rest. Yeah. So so basically, the, from the sending spells, River basically intends that as soon as she gets the message from you that the Duchess has been destroyed um, and that the tower is secure, she will come with a survey team to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So she's going to meet us here. When we leave here, we should lock the doors behind us. I agree. Um, also, the the defenses were down for literally like an hour and a half, and something got in. I I mean, there were a lot of them here already, probably waiting for that to happen, and we were the ones who led them here by accident. I will say though that if we can get rid of the Duchess and secure this place. Unlocking the magical secrets within this building could prove not only helpful for the Academy's knowledge base and understanding delirium, but this could be an adequate place for us to 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 work out of if to branch out and find more places. There's the orb near the bay that allows us to see other possible locations to explore. I, I think unlocking the secrets here are going to be important for everybody. I agree. I will be greatly rewarded for my findings within the Academy. I will take most of the credit. You will be mentioned. <laughs> um, I mean, my friends. I don't care about my standing in the Academy, so you can have most of the credit if it helps you, Wrath. Oh, I'm... Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. So what is your plan, guys, for dealing with the Duchess? Um, okay, so we know what works. Rudy and uh, Wilhelm go in stealth mode. I show up later. We kill it. Bam. Um, <laughs> Bam. I, I think we're going to be led there. I like. Here's the thing. is the Now that Buddy's out of the room, I uh, honestly, I think... Uh, and the less that are involved, the better chance we have. You know, once this creature gets there, it can tip them off. We yeah. open ourselves up to... I, 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 I totally see where you're coming from, Wilhelm. I just think that in the nature of this uh, underwater garden it mentioned, um, there's a chance that I think we could find it and infiltrate it uh, better than uh, attempting. But that's my thoughts on it. Is there a way to to dupe the creature into... into, into well, folks, I want to point out one really big problem. What? The water in the bay is contaminated. Yeah. And at the end of every turn that you end in contaminated water, you have to make a saving throw against contamination. Even with so our uh, potions? I mean, yeah, because you can use you can drink the potions, but you're going to be making saving throws every round you're in contaminated water. So, yeah, conceivably, you could continue saving, yeah. making those saves, but maybe not. It's, Eventually, but, our luck might run out. So swimming sounds terrible. Um, yeah, because it's not just swimming through regular water. It's swimming through... Uh, now... The creature did say that the Duchess, we asked him directly, could we bring the Duchess to us? And he said, if you had a gift. I'm wondering though, is that delirium not a big enough enticement for the, uh, the Duchess to come? Maybe we need something a bit bigger. We may, I see what you're saying, Rudy. Maybe we try to lure something the Duchess out. Magical. What if we tie Wrath up <laughs> with the delirium and present a mage and a crystal as a gift? 
How's she gonna know? I don't know. We, this creature is of another world. We may be able to find a way to commune with those creatures from other worlds. We did find a way to, we did find a scroll a long time ago that let us commune with creatures from other planes. River may have the means to do that again. Now, also, our fish friend may be of more assistance to us if hmm. perhaps perhaps they can communicate. And, and their goal is to have us join them. Mm -hmm. So there might be an option here to talk the fish man into bringing the Duchess to us if we explain that we have a gift for her but cannot enter the water in its current state, but we would like the option to meet the Duchess. If we play mm. the card of uh, curious uh, searchers of, of truth of the fish people, then... Though I will say, we did kill a lot of fish folk in the cave before, so I don't know <laughs> if they're necessarily going to buy that. Uh... I may we maybe we make our intentions clear. We want to meet the Duchess and we bring something that is irresistible. Something that will make her come to us where we do not go to her. And we send because him with a message maybe of what we have and he'll bring it to the and Duchess. And what we want and we well, want Well, it seemed like she wanted this room. <laughs> oh. Then what if we what if what if we free the fish person? Yeah. Give him the message that if the Duchess wants this place, she can come and talk to us. Do we tell her that we killed her, her cardinal? And if if absolutely, if, maybe we play that card. We play the we'll keep killing your people if uh, you don't cardinal come and is, find us. The cardinal is dead, so is every fish person that you sent to this building. If you want what is here, you will come and talk to us yourself. And we we present ourselves from a position of power, of mm -hmm. confidence, and we bring her to us. Rule number 52, confidence is key. I think we could tr we could try it and see what she sends our way and so far we've been able to handle it but they they didn't seem to be able to get into this room through the doors when they were locked well what we could entice her with is potentially we could lock it and have the combination is the thing that we know our way we can also send this this fish folk with uh, a, a small token, a piece of delirium, and and to show that we are serious. Delirium, know that we have the, the potential to unlock this and to hand that over to her so she can unlock and lock it. Hmm. And then in the meantime, while we wait, we set this place up. My crossbow can become a, a ballista. Mm. We could set up defenses. We could try to understand the layout of this place better and use it to our advantage. If she comes herself, then we can converse with her. If she tries to send an entourage of more fish folk, we now have the upper hand. We have the tower. We have the high ground. But there's only three of us. And look what we already have done to an army of fish folk. There is an opportunity as well. We could involve a, a friend, the night captain that we had met. They may be arriving in Ashafen shortly. We did. Letting them know that there is contamination and delirium here 
may prompt them to explore, or we may be able to discover other means of reaching the Duchess. We should potentially involve. I am hesitant to involve these other parties in our affairs. However, the Academy seems very distracted. And although River will send help to us, it may be too late. We must deal with this threat immediately. Rule number 20, don't fight a battle without the upper hand, and the upper hand could be numbers. And although, Rudy, I'm aware that you have your issues with the Silver Order, but they are here to put a stop to Delirium, and they are coming to Ash Shaffin as we speak. They might already be there. If we can get them here, fortifying this location against the Duchess and calling her to us gives us a possible upper hand against her. You think River's going to really appreciate the Silver Order coming taking over this place? River gave us a message, which was keep Bane Moon safe, destroy the Duchess. That is our mission. How we decide to go about it is not her problem. I believe Rudy might be right. This location must remain as secret as possible. There's Although, a lot of magic here. we may be able to leverage this delirium as a small prize to the Silver Order in hopes to understand more. If we could find a means of transportation through the water that could get us to the Duchess, we may go ourselves. We may be able to use our original plan. It is the contamination that stops us. If there is another way to reach the Duchess, we do not need to lure her. Although, if we cannot get to her, we bring her to us. And I think using the Silver Order as a, as as potential leverage or even as a bait, if, may be. If the Silver order. order is on their way to Ashshafen, perhaps we can keep this place safe. What if we go to the docks of Ashshafen and call her there? To meet, they also may wonder why we're here in the first place. <laughs> after the act we put on when they I forgot us. my wallet it <laughs> I I thought I'm pretty sure I left it in Ash and, um, the, the, are you this, gonna explain to them why we're in the middle of a delirium infested area I will because you know what honestly it's important and I think that we have tried our hand at lying mm. and it hasn't gotten us very far and in this moment what is most important is that we succeed in our mission. The Duchess cannot be allowed to continue to reign over this bay. Mm. And we need to do something. And I know there's only three of us. But the odds are better in our favor if we call her out than if we go there. Mm. Mm. We may be able to leverage the hate that the Silver Order has for Delirium in a way that is funneled towards the duchess it is currently our biggest threat i am these places they are thin and they they invite those monsters we have seen things that are very dangerous coming through we could we might be only seeing the glimpse of what could happen if this place is ever turned i can't imagine what kind of horrors might come through and again, rule number 86, sometimes an enemy may be an ally when a greater threat exists. The Duchess is our threat. The Silver Order is not an enemy, but they are not an ally either. But mm. since a greater enemy exists, if they were to witness it, they would fight it. And so would we. And therefore, perhaps calling... And if, if she shows up with reinforcements finding the right place to fight with the right help i also do not want to bring the duchess here i fear that if we if the turn the tides turn we would be in a bad place i think then i got I think, an idea yes i think combination of all these i think if we can <laughs> lure the duchess out but lure her rear rat to the docks to Ash Haffin, rather than here. Wrath, if you disguise yourself as one of the folk, or who who did we, who's in the, the city? We know his name. Um, Aubin? Like Aubin? Yeah. Aubin. Yeah. Aubin. Aubin. 
Describe. Be Auburn. Bring the Silver Order. Have them clash. We will hide and be ready to <laughs> jump in if we see the Duchess and help. But I think not giving ourselves away to the Silver Order right away, but being ready to fight the Duchess on those docks, just in case. And honestly, with that plan, once we succeed, the Silver Order will have less questions for us. They will still have a lot of questions, but we will have a card to play in the fact that we just helped them defeat the Duchess and we have proven ourselves uh, fighting for the same general goal. We don't need to let them know everything, but we are we are mm-hmm. valiant fighters looking to right the wrongs being done by Delirium. And since we encountered what we saw here, we were worried about them showing up, and so we came to help. Yeah, mm-hmm. we could not let this go un uh, unchallenged. We put aside our fear of what that delirium can do to help right the wrongs that are happening. We so, quit being sailors and we started being saviors. I um, like it. So we're going to set the fish man <laughs> free. No, we, we got to kill him. He knows too much. But he's giving the message to the. We'll it's find just... another one. I'm a little. I'm a little worried that he'll just be like, "Oh, they're like, there's a tower." over there well she knows about the tower yeah yeah they were already here sure he, we, we, they he were here wouldn't... before we were <laughs> but yeah. that it's unlocked and everything I'm it's, a little we're worried. gonna lock it we're going to lock it i mean if you want i want to kill him I, but okay he, okay there's no other way for us to okay. call the duchess out yeah we gotta set him free we give him throw a message. message in a bottle into the ocean and the- as time passes, the message will drift to. Okay, fine. We'll send he the has, guy. He has every we'll send reason. the guy. We. He has every reason to tell the Duchess everything. But what does that harm us? She's going to be angry and hopefully come for us. And if she comes with an army, we'll deal with that too, together. Mm. Okay. All right. Together. In Ashaffen. All right. That's a, well with that plan in place. That's where we're going to end it for the night. What a great game. (laughs) Airtight. (laughs) No, I actually think it's one of the coolest plans we've come up with in a while, but... Definitely the most coherent. (laughs) And he's free, but for the record, he was never a prisoner. I want on the record, he was never a prisoner, but he is free now. (laughs) (laughs) Never. All righty. Well... Th- that's that's where we're gonna wrap it up for the night um a huge thank you to the amazing jill kelly and joe for playing this evening uh your player characters and uh a huge thank you to kyle for keeping things real in the chat and doing all of his work behind the screen and Ooh. a huge thank you to monty for running such a great game of mystery upon mystery of magical anomalies Aww, and thank crazy you. battles it was great amazing um in our game tonight we use a variety of incredible assets produced by talented artists and they have graciously given us their permission to use them in our streamed games and you can use them at home too and we encourage you to check out and support these amazing creators we have world 20 with the fabulous virtual tabletop the custom maps generated by yours truly monty martin using uh dungeon draft and wonder draft based on cartography by dyson logos player character artwork by jeremy cole npc token artwork by Matthias Bourbon, Monster Token Network from D&D 5e Monster Manual, and other source books, Spell Effects Tokens by Gabriel Picard, and Music by Tabletop Audio. Of course, don't forget to look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can find all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes merch, including Way Bigger Than Ducks, Yes, 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 and the Dusk Wardens. Check out bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. And of course, our videos and live streams are made possible thanks to an incredible community of Patreon supporters. Um, they are so awesome, and we love chatting with uh, uh, chatting with you all on Patreon. Uh, your work makes your contributions make this stream possible. So, if you enjoy this show, please consider heading up over onto patreoncom slash underscore dudes and checking us out on there as well. We also have a phenomenal Discord community that is exclusive for our patrons, where you can join in on all the fun things that are happening in there. A lot of talk about the Kickstarter recently. Um, but our our Discord is ever growing, and we are talking about all sorts of nerdy things. We do monthly events in there. 
and uh, just have a blast. So come join us in the Discord as well. Yeah, uh, we also have new videos every Tuesday and every other Tuesday and every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything D&D, including advice for players and guides for Dungeon Masters. So check that out, youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. And be sure to join us live next Tuesday when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash Dungeon underscore Dudes. You can watch all the video episodes of the show on YouTube as well. And finally, don't forget to head on over to Drakenheim.com to sign up for our mailing list for the Dungeons of Drakenheim Kickstarter that is going to be coming this summer, so you can get your hands on the complete source book for running your very own Drakenheim campaign. It will be featuring over 20 adventure locations from the original live stream, plus many more expanded things so that you can run your very own Drakenheim campaigns of your very own. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time in the shadows of Drakenheim.